So, all right, YouTube, today we're going to play some Death Shadow. This is a 75 that I played in the Modern Quarterly event. <coughs> it was, uh, I went 4-2 and two and dropped because I wanted to practice my Legacy event. Um, I played this version of this deck for a couple reasons. I actually think the format is slowing down right now. Uh, the Phoenix decks are becoming slower. Black Green has risen to beat up the Phoenix decks. Blue White has risen to beat up the Phoenix decks. The four color word decks are slow. You got to find the right interaction. So I just went back to playing slower and being, you know, this old consistent mid range deck that the deck used to be. And just have four, four split here. You know, it, like this is, we're just looking to, you know, be mid rangey, be grindy, and be consistent while still having the. You know, some of those still some of those Death Shadow power draws. Not quite as many as we used to, but I decided to sacrifice speed for consistency. So I decided to cut the bobbles, get rid of the lootings, and just be, you know, 2017 Death Shadow. Um, kind of explain some of my sideboard cards. I played a Ravenous Trap because exiling the entire graveyard is great against Dredge, and it's re relevant against Phoenix now that they have. Uh, Gosh, I have the hiccups. Now that they're playing a lot of Ascensions. Um, I played two Hoax because this deck tends to flood out a little more. So you're going to have those turns where you can go like Hope, bring something back, play it. Or Hope, or like Hope, bring a Death Shadow back, have Stub. Those turns are just more, um, they're more common. Um, Humans has been rising in popularity. I don't really know why, but, you know, it's just there. So I decided, like, you're not realistically beating humans unless you've got, like, seven cards you want to bring in, at least, and that's what I've got. Um, then you've got your normal, the recall, the disdainful stroke, and the rejection. So that's what I played, and this is what we're going to do. Can't even queue up anymore. I played that version of the deck. Um, I can actually check. Oh, no. I don't want to be in this. I can actually check when I played that. Here. Let me get into this modern league. Let me get into this league. I think I played that in the beginning of March. About three weeks ago. Four weeks ago. And then the Phoenix made the evolution of, like, Pyromancer's Ascension. Um... You know, and I, I don't necessarily know that this version is, like, super correct. There's another reason that I played this version of this deck, and it's just that, like, I have not had a lot of fun playing Modern recently. So I decided to play a more fun version of the deck because I just want to have fun. And it is fun, you know, playing your Snapcast, going a little bit longer, going a little bit bigger. You know, that's fun. Let's look here. Modern challenge on three nine. So yeah, I did play. I did play the faster version three weeks ago. Humans, humans does not have a good world matchup, Teddy. It does not have a like. It's not good against ensnaring bridge torpor orb tutorable deck. Oh, I did I mess this up? Um, no, I don't like the three one push bolt because like you just you gotta kill a thing in the ice. Like if if you're not like you gotta you gotta you need four of these before you need the first bolt. I have one in the sideboard, but oh, can be rough. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're talking about, Teddy. Where's your verdict on rise fall? I like rise fall. I think it's a good card. I think it is good. I think there's though the problem is like there are less of those aggressive less of those 18 land decks running around and now like black green and blue white have popped up. So I'm also going to try I'm going if I play against black green I'm going to take the play because I think with four snapcaster mages and four serum visions as long as they do not resolve a lily out of the veil I don't think they can beat you. With any regularity, I think you're. I think you're ahead. There, sand's pretty solid. Two, 
between my sizes. I just don't have space, you know, like I don't want to kind of push, I don't want to kind of stop, I don't want to kind of battle rage, you know. I probably could have cycled one Street Wraith on my turn because I would like to cast a discard spell. All right. So this matchup's kind of rough game one. But you do have the tools. Especially the four Snapcaster Mages. All right. There's a chance we just go nuts here. Um, put on the bottom, put on top, get this back, um, ooh, did I mill over a water grave? Yes, I did. It's good to know. Okay, so I definitely want this Thought Seize, and I'm probably going to cycle my Street Race next turn to hit another land to play Angler. But we're playing against Jeskai. And I have an Escanta. Okay, so I gotta be a little more careful now, but. Well, I don't know. I, I, whatever. I don't think I have the luxury. Okay. Let's take a look here. I think I'm just going to take this Lightning Helix. Fetch a basic and play Death Shadow. Fetching this event sucked. Uh, did you find a way to kill my shadow? Or are you just Seer Envisioning? Okay. And I'm going to play Gurmag Angler. Um, off of the black mana. Unless I have a stub in my graveyard. Actually, I actually have a Battle Rage. Maybe I did my math wrong there. I mean, if, I, if I find a way to deal one damage to myself, I'm definitely going to go for it here. Yeah, we had to fetch the steam vents. It was an unfortunate set of events. What do you got, my friend? So they have a logic knot. That we know about. Alright, whatever attack. Play Angler. This gets knotted. And then I'm going to delve everything but Serum Visions. Nice combo here. <clears throat> they can survive next, they can't survive next turn through the push unless they find a, an actual removal spell. Because they can't go like snap helix and block. Because the heat, even if they helix the shadow, they only go to twelve and it's thirteen points of damage. I think you need three red sources if you're gonna play Lava Mancer. All right, so it's pretty legit that we can get Cryptic commanded here, which would suck. Right, I think we got him here. They have Pat Snap Pat on her own. Is 
Navcaster Mage targeting. What do you got? Okay. This is kind of similar. I mean, they take five points of damage. They've only got one, uh, one red source. So we know they have the old, they got the old VP in there. They put that on top. So they hit a cryptic command. Not casting that. What? Jeez. All right. I guess I could have thought about that one. But yeah, I can't cast the Thought Seeds, so. though. Yeah, definitely big hurl. I'm going to play this to add to Delve. I don't know. I just can't go to three in the face of a Lightning Bolt deck. Actually can't crack this fetch either because then I'll just die to the um the whatever it is. One, two, yeah, can't do it. Well, yeah, I mean, I could have played around it if I could have cast, but I can't cast Thought Seeds, you know what I mean? All right, well, at least we get to kill that thing. Who knows? Maybe they don't have anything. I know I'm attacking to a colonnade. I was just hoping they didn't activate it and we got them to one. That was my plan, but it did not work. All right, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. These come in and these come out and that's all she wrote. <clears throat> oh, I don't even think you can correct because they were at three, right? You can't attack with one creature because then path blows you out. Yeah, dude, because like the card they kept on top, I thought was Crypto Command. Maybe I should have thought about it once they let me go to combat, but I don't know. That was vomit inducing. All right, hands pretty solid. We need threats, but like, you know, that's life. Nice. 
Right, I'm going to take this Snapcaster. We're going to be able to EE that. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's not correct to board in surgical against this deck. All right, we're going to take this Snapcaster Mage. Uh, I'm going to hold off on this next thought sees because like they could hit like a search for his Kanta here and that would suck. And like, yes, they can surgical my thought seizes, but they're not going to do that. It is, I don't think it's really ever correct to board in thoughts, to board in surgical extraction against a deck with thoughts he's in it. I'm going to get this land tapped. I might get bit in the ass for not taking this engineer explosives here. Give me one second to go check on the old dog. Hang on. My opponent also doesn't have anything going on. Hang on. I'm just gonna take this uh, Hercules. Re I'm gonna take this engineered explosives, and we're just gonna kill them before they play that Teferi. I think. My shadow being a three-three is a little sketchy, but like, such is life. Ancestral Visions. Nice. Yeah, now my opponent's got to lose their Teferi. If they do not draw the land. Yeah, no, you should never board in Surgical Extraction against that Shadow. Well, now I don't even want to do this. But I guess it doesn't really matter. Because we can't beat the top of their deck anyways. And now we at least get the Teferi out of there. And they're on a three turn clock. Okay. And we're just going to keep it. Oh, uh, Rugdale was good. It was good. We lost the two tribal decks, but the way that we had our deck configured, it was set up to lose the two tribal decks. So, you know, that's the way she goes. We were just unlucky and paired against two tribal decks. Heater. Uh -oh. I'm going to two. Three looks at a land. God, I'm good at this game.
Oh, come on. Put on the bottom, put on top. Ah, I should have played my fetch land, that was stupid. Yeah, we're gonna double deck. We're gonna do a legacy 1k this weekend. Either rug delver deck or the rug delver deck I was playing, you can see on my Twitter, or Grixis Delver that's on Lawrence Harmon's deck. Lawrence Harmon's Twitter. You bastard. Sons of bitches and they have Vendillion clicks. That's going to kill me. Yeah, that Vendillion click is going to kill me. Well, could have cycled. Maybe should have cycled. Nah, because I want to go snap thoughtsies. I want to snap, snap serum visions and then be able to draw off of the. What I see. Jeez. I had to worry about that Teferi, too. Okay. I had to figure out how bad of a way I'm in here, also. So my opponent fields me, I'm going to... Because I thought they had a, uh, I figured they had a whatever it is. Um, losing my train of thought. I figured they had, I can't think of what, I can't remember what I was trying to say. Okay. I gotta think now. I wanted I wanted to stub something, and there was a reason why I wanted to stub something, and I cannot think of it at the moment. I think it's because I knew that I had shad I had shadow on top of my shadow thoughts he's on the top of my deck, and I wanted to discard spell after that. So I can fetch. No, I can't do it all, and so we just kind of have to hope this works. I guess it's going to end up with me at one life.
logic not for four. One can't pay. But I can get rid of this. And then hope my opponent doesn't have a land. Yeah, and now we're done. Oh, that Vendillion click there got me. Got me really good. Let me look back at this. Let me look back at this game here. Figure out what I did wrong here. Oh, no, stop. Okay. Okay. So I went to Serum Visions with a Wraith, and I have Shadow. And what do I see? I see Meyer Thoughtseize. So I wanted to be able to, because my opponent, um, my opponent put a card on the bottom of their library, and they mulligan, so I thought they might have been land short. And if I just played my land and held up stubborn denial, for if they go serum visions into something, or they just play like a two drop, like a like a search for his cancer or something like that, then I thought I would be okay. Um. Plus, next turn, I could go, like, Thoughtseize, um, Thoughtseize Shadow with Stub. But, like, that obviously backfired. So, basically, why I didn't Thoughtseize on 2 was because... Why I didn't do anything on 2 is because I wanted to leave up Stubborn Denial to hopefully hit something. Then the turn after that, if even if I do Stub, I can go Thoughtseize Shadow Serum. Or thought she said thought she's shadow stub, and click just wasn't on my radar. Also, I just wasn't even thinking about the doing click. Another thing that you know went over my head. So that's kind of what was going on there, and it didn't work out for us. Yeah, I just mapped my turn out. <clears throat> to be able to thought seize on the turn I played Death Shadow in order to give them the least amount of draw steps to cover my Death Shadow based on when I played it. And the click literally just took me 100% by surprise. The click got me. That's basically what it comes down to. I got got by the click. I got got by an opponent that boards in surgical extraction. Feels bad, man. I really appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. Um, my name is Dylan Hovey. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. Uh, if you guys need Magic Online stuff, you should check out Card Hoarder. Card Hoarder also has uh, loan programs. You should check that out. I write for MTG Corner. I took last week off because I was getting ready for the quarterlies, but I'm writing about Legacy this week and you know the work I've done there. Uh, if you need singles, go check out Gamer Craze. They're a store in upstate New York. Um, you know, that's where I learned to play magic. And now that I am monetized on YouTube, go over to my YouTube channel and check out the VODs because I get paid for that. So, all right. And let's get back into it. Playing against Ray Perez. Very good magic player. <clears throat> All right, I would like to play first, yes. And I would like to mulligan this hand. 
Ugh. Is this make people worse sideboarding? I see if not. But I do the same thing next turn, get smart, right? Right. Uh, we gotta put this on top and not fetch. Not do anything this turn. Wait, if my opponent, if it's a, if it's playing against a deck where that's not good, I'll fetch and I'll see your visions next turn. Planes. Basic planes probably means blue white control or humans. I'm gonna fetch it away. I'm gonna assume that he's playing blue white control. Okay. <clears throat> well, I get the snap sees at some point, right? Okay, well, I was wrong with my assessment of the deck we are playing. To be fair, like, Death Shadow Battle Rage is really good against this deck. I chose to not use Hawk's ability. Uh, play this. Don't do anything. How you doing tonight, Zach? Play Gurmag next turn. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I just. Vendillion Click wasn't on my radar, and that's the card that punished me for my actions. So I'm actually going to fetch a uh, Watery Grave and play Angler. Because I, if he knows anything about this matchup, he knows that he's got to get me off my red sources. So I kind of want to sandbag my red source until it kills them. We got that out of their hand too. No. <clears throat> Ghostly prison. Get a path to uh, cycle cast out. Okay. Stuck on three lands. So there's no sense playing the other Death Shadow. Because I'm not going to be able to attack with it. Okay. I had like a moment there. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. Do 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 do. Thraven Infector. Hot and hot. And we're just going to say, call, show me your path to exile. Fail. Oh, I needed to fetch at the end of the turn. No. Ugh. Gross, I forgot to fetch. <coughs> now this attack probably just kills me. Alright, thanks. Yeah, we definitely beefed it there. We had that game won. <coughs> now I don't have it won anymore. Yeah, it's good to play. Phil. The title needs update. Bugged over the modern Grix Shadow. That's what it is. <coughs> so hang on. Actually, you can't. Okay. All right, still not going to expose my red source. Guess now I can't fetch for it to stub something. All right. Oh, it's so frustrating. I had him dead six ways on Sunday and just messed it up. Ugh. All right. Blech. All right. We're going to pick off some X1s. Um, the pushes aren't really that good. I think I'm just going to bring in one of these and then one of these just to rebuy re some creatures. I could like surgical some of his threats, but I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to keep the Snapcaster Mages in just to dig to our threats because he's going to deal with them. <clears throat> I need to turn the light on. It's getting, getting dark in the city. Uh, I don't have to on my stream today. <clears throat> yeah, it's a, I think it's a good one. I'll... All right, we're gonna keep this. <clears throat> oh, that's so frustrating. We we had him beat on a mode of five. Which just sucks. All right, let's take this Martyr of Sands. We'll figure out the rest of the stuff later. Forgot about the stupid Sarah Ascendant card. Ooh. 
my opponent kept no white sources. Holy shit. I just realized that now after looking at Overmore. If he goes to his field, he goes to his field. <coughs> Come on. What do we got here? Excellent draw step. All right, I think I'm just going to take this path to exile. Like, we're going to need to counter one of those, probably, or the uh, that or the ghostly prison. All right, I'm just going to go play my Gurmag Angler because it makes him, like, mind twist himself in order to kill it. And he might not want to do that. Not mind twist himself, but, like, he, he ends up, you know, like, losing down the land. All right, looks like we're going to make it out of this game alive. Nice. Don't say such thing. He's not going to rip a white source. I'm just going to play another angler. Yeah, it was a. Uh, I mean, you're playing against a discard deck, so like. Clean up, discard, Ranger VS, probably. Ruined Halo, the double white card. All right, <clears throat> draw a card. Okay, probably want some more removal in. I forgot about those other dummies. Probably can get like one of these out on the draw. Bring in one more of these. Probably just another Snapcaster Mage. Playing a Snapcaster game against this deck is probably not great. Now he probably was like, if I just. Ghost quarter myself. I'm not going to win it again. Anyways. I'll keep. This is the one that brings it back. Okay. It's a nice draw. <clears throat> You'll get a watery grave. Thought sees my opponent.
Mm. I gotta take this Crucible of Worlds. Because, like, that Crucible of Worlds is gonna eat me alive if I don't find a way to deal, deal with it. And, like, I can deal with Sarah Ascendant. Um, the ghostly prison's annoying. It's a nice draw. All right, I guess more threats is good. Oh, I exposed my red source. It's a little shoddy. Oh, uh, double prison. <clears throat> okay. Let's get rid of one of them. We can't play through two of those. <clears throat> Just going to jam this while we can. I'm going to push this martyr. Don't attack. That's loose. All right, that's nice. That's not really nice, actually, because of the ghostly prison. I guess I can just play the angler. I just got to pick off all the creatures, which is nice. Yeah, the shadow will get bigger. Most time it's close, just play the shadow. I haven't milled any of my basics. So my live my dashboard's wigged out. Oh, we're all wigging out here. Technical difficulties. Oh, maybe we're back.
So my mic is still muted. That is not correct. We probably just have to wait for it to load up. Yeah, OBS is just reconnecting. I'm just gonna. Yes. Attack. <clears throat> then I'm just gonna play another. I'm gonna take this up and then play another one because we it is lethal and we can pay for both of them because <clears throat> the situation here. And if he rats us, we can just rebuy. All right, we already got reamed by a Settle the Wreckage, but, like, we got two Gurmag Anglers to play. <clears throat> It'd be the last card. Oh, yeah, he gets out of this because... Let's do this. All right, so he gets he gets one more draw stat doing it this way. <clears throat> I'm gonna roll my Liliana back and pick up a Street Wraith and just try to hit a Stubborn Denial. And then we'll just pass. Hopefully this does it. All right. Squadron Hawk does not do it. By itself, at least. Yeah, there we go. Beat the old Martyr proc. That feels good. Beating that shenanigans. So we're already into another match. Nice. It was a good. It was a good. Uh, good run. Yeah, dude, we're owning. I was looking at my face with the Drake eyes the, the whole time. See, it's a little wheel spinny, but like, that happens. All right, so we're playing against the prison deck. <clears throat> I'm gonna thought scour. Be, and we can do the the preordain next turn if we need to. Oh, I want to be able to stub like you know, be able to represent soft stub. That's annoying. I guess it's not that annoying. We don't have really any yield until next turn. We don't have any. Uh... <clears throat> we don't have any like artifact disruption. I did not. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know what format Dito's playing, where we think we can be doing that stuff. All right. Let's go get an eye. Let's go get Watery Grave. Excuse me. All right. Put on the bottom. Put on top. Pass the turn. When the stars align, yes. Don't chalice me. All right, we're going to Thought Scour end the turn because they can't. Uh, 
they can't whatever it is they can't whir into uh whatever it is right here what are you wearing Whir for two what do you got on here just doctor doctor foundry i forgot about that one I forgot they were playing that Forgot about the old Thopter Foundry. All right. I thought it's dead as a doorknob, I think, next turn. They, they could be dead as a doorknob. Like if I draw a fetch land, <clears throat> go to five, go to one. Welding jar. Sure. You're dead. As a doorknob. Battle rage. If you are furnished, they're probably tempting. Well, you have to kill the thing because of spell sky, right? Is that what you're talking about, or I'm confused? All right, again, see, we're a prison, Hercules recall, <coughs> ceremonious rejection, Colagon's command. These come out. It's either a disdainful stroke or a surgical. I don't know if I really like surgical extraction. Because, like, <clears throat> they're going to have multiple ways to win. They're going to have Psy. Disdainful Stroke is at least live against Chalice on two and were. We don't only care against Chalice and Bridge. Like, they've also got Psy. They've got Thopter Foundry, which can grind us out. They have multiple ways. They have multiple, like, ways to do that, though. Yeah, I think Surgical's poor. They just don't have, they don't have enough targets. Like, or they have, they have too many targets. Yeah, like there's a, they have they have so many targets and like they can win without bridge. They can win without doctor. They can win without Psy. Seems pretty good. We need a threat though. Yeah, but War is more live against their deck. It's got Chalice on two, shuts off Hercules Recall. I don't know. They're bringing in, like, Planeswalkers. All right, we have all the disruption we want. Sword doesn't matter. 
I'm gonna take this bridge. Bridge size bad news, but but if they if they get to play one next turn, the bridge is worse than the side. So this is they're just gonna play a sword. All right, so we can see our visions here because my opponent can't hit a third land and a payoff next turn. They can hit, they can chalice me. I just gave them the window to chalice me, which probably is not great. I don't think we want this. I'm just going to take the Psy and hope our opponent doesn't rip the chalice. May have an opal, which they'll probably hold because it doesn't do anything. All right, snap is nice. Snap's a clock. I don't want either of these. I'm just going to shut myself in here. <clears throat> All right, so we know our opponent's hand. It might be merit to just flashing the Snapcaster Mage in and starting to attack. But if we find what we're looking for, the Snap being extra is good. Jeez. We can't stop anything at this point, so I'm just going to Snap Serum Visions. Like, if they hit Whirr or Bridge, they're going to get us. So we need to find ourselves a Death Shadow. Find ourselves a Death Shadow or a whatever it is. All right. So I go to four. And then I'm locked into killing this Thopter next turn. I have to dodge a fade A draw step and then I'm good. Yeah. Especially considering they're going to draw a card here. No, I attack. They trade, okay. Um, get rid of this. Leave dismember. We'll keep our Snapcaster Mage. Get rid of these Thought Seizes. This Disdainful Stroke's probably fine. Get rid of this Thought Scour. Get rid of this Thought Seize. All right. <clears throat> All right, we should be in the clear now. Not going to K command or anything like that. All right, well. Uh, we 
turn, target creature, deal two damage. This might take a turn off the clock. And like snap, stubborn denial is a thing. We have stubborn denial. Because <laughs> we can just attack and then flash in Snapcaster. And still have Stubborn Denial. This matchup seems pretty solid. What did you get? Did you hit the word? Unfortunately for you, I got you covered. All right. Nice. Lost the first one and won the second two. Pretty good. Oh, wow. We already have These leagues are going by quick tonight. Might have to play a third one. Trollblas. I don't recognize my opponent's name. And Snap Serum Visions, like, it helped churn us through our deck there, you know? <clears throat> I'm looking at this. Uh, I will... I'm going to mulligan again. I'll keep this. All right, I'm going to recoup some card advantage there. <clears throat> All right. What do you got over there? Are we playing... You burning me? Playing against Burn, I can't win. Oh, we're playing the old Scape Shift shenanigans. Good matchup. Pretty poor opener for us, especially considering I, they went basic island, so I figured they were playing Burn. They have double Titan. Water grave, yes. All right, we're going to put this in the bottom and we're going to put this on top just because it's the cycling, it's the same thing as putting it on the bottom, but we have to pay two life to do it, which is nice. Yeah, it did seem pretty odd. All right, again, I'm just going to snap Serum Visions here. Like, I got to find a Death Shadow, like, yesterday. I could, like, cycle and then maybe hit hit a Thoughtseize. And then I can go Thoughtseize, snap Thoughtseize, but that's just going to be too slow. Like, if I hit Death Shadow next turn, I have a shot. I'm just going to take both of these. Now that I've got Gurmag Angler, i got to find Thoughtseize. And Serum Visions will help with that. I don't know. It might. This might be poor of me to do, but it's kind of like the world we live in at the moment. So we're drawing Angler. Put on the bottom, put on the bottom. Stub doesn't really do it. So we need to draw Thoughtseize. Or have my opponent drawn literally all their Primeval Titans?
That ain't it. Yeah, it was a pretty poor play for my opponent, I thought. I thought we could have handled it even if they'd have done it right. Like, I, I think we had a shot. We were definitely tiptoeing, though, but with the Kologons command, I thought we were okay. There's no useful red spells in our deck. That might have... Oh, man, if I go to Battle Raged, I might have been able to get out of this. Ugh. Oh, that sucks. If I had done that first, maybe if I go Battle Rage, Snap Battle Rage, I've got a chance. I feel dumb now. Oh, there's still a chance. I'm going to stop this. Because, like, if they go land Primeval Titan, they can get me now. We could draw a Dismember. They have to shock to do this. But they can just shock and then kill Gurmag Angler. Yeah, now they just kill Angler, and then we just, like, don't have any outs. Oh, we would have won. No, we wouldn't have. No, we still would have died. We still would have died. Okay. So I think it's just Disdainful Stroke in this... I'd like to cut all of these, so I might bring in like a random lightning bolt. This is again where I can bring in surgical extraction, but like if I take primeval titan, they still have scape shift. <coughs> I have a much easier job handling scape shift, but probably one's better than this lightning bolt. Each one of them helped turn on death shadow. Could also trim a Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Part of the reason I'm doing this is I don't have anything else to bring in. I still have enough to bring in in this matchup, which is okay. Like Titan Shift is, it's not a super popular, it's not a super popular deck in the meta game. Yeah, they will have Tracker. If we get functional draws, like, you know, we, we should beat this deck. Yeah. Yeah, I caught that. All right. Oh, man. SCG Cleveland. Nope, nope, I am not. Not on the travel plan for the first half of the year. This hand's explosive. All right, you got it.
Hmm. I'm gonna cycle. It's a little loosey goosey. Okay. God, I hope my opponent plays Steve. Play Steve. Tilt. Yeah, PSA to all Scape Shift players. Never give the Death Shadow player priority when you have Steve in play. Unless you need Steve to block. Because I guess Steve is going to get you killed. Okay. So how do we get to 18? If these are sixes, then we're good. So we get a seven. That's nice. So go fetch island. We unfortunately can't beat double bolt. I should have cycled first, I think. This is seven, nine. We actually don't even have to. We can just, all right, bolt me twice. Bolt me twice. I'm gonna shave one more Snapcast from the draw. I'm gonna try three of all these. I could see supporting another one and then keeping a lightning bolt, but. Well, they, we saw turn one relic. Peter. A lot of mulligan. Give me one second. I think this is a mulligan.
I think I'm gonna mulligan my hand. Like, yeah, see his hand's way better. We don't want that. His hand's better, yeah. Shalom, hubby. Oh, how's it going? Any of your friends going to Niagara? All right, watery grave, serum, visions. All right. All right, we got a chance. I was just wondering if they want to play Legacy. Yep, you got it. Velakut. My opponent gets the Hour of Promise Me. We can't be letting that happen next turn. So I think I'm just going to take Farseek and hold up Stub. I'll have to figure out what to do with that Lightning Bolt here in a bit. Well, I already played Legacy. Did that first. All right, that is okay. I guess I can just surgical like surge for tomorrow. I don't know. I, I gotta get my death shadow and play or I'm, or I'm gonna lose. But that seems kind of dumb. I guess we'll just wait and I'll double stub something. Ah. All right, so I know their hand. Jeez. <clears throat> and I can't take too much damage. Actually, just like, I think I'm just dead. Because, like, they're going to go get two lands off of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we dead as a doorknob, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to slowly get to the point where we can't be... I guess I should have stubbed to make it so that they had to... They couldn't hold these lands. But... I don't really see a good way out of this.
Uh, two more of the five sacks. I yield. I yield. In response to the rat. Yeah, that puts us to nine, though, and then we don't have anything for the, um, to deal with the promise or anything they could hit, right? But when they did the first surgical, Oh, playing against Awesome or Awesome. Do I like to play first? Yes. Keep. And it's pretty good. Pretty explosive. <clears throat> Don't they resolve our promise? What do you got? Put a card on top. What'd you put on top, John? So this is like a pack for Azusa kind of hand. So I think I have to take the scout. Well, I think I have to take the summers. Well, no, no. So he kept, he kept a land on top. He'd have to keep a land on top because that's the only reason this makes sense. So I'm going to take this summers pact because that means there's only one pact for like an Azusa to ramp him. Oh, yes, he didn't. This is a botanical sanctum. Never mind. It doesn't matter that I thought I thought that was a blue bounce blue bounce land. Excuse me. No, I did this wrong. Shoot. Now he can Azusa me. Yeah, I should have played my steam vents and dismembered and kept my fetch land. That was a mistake. And what? Okay. Um, so he's got Amulet Pact, he's got Amulet Pact, Prime, and whatever the dumb card is. And the uh, blue, the blue black land, the, the blue green land. I think I'm just going to attack for seven and play an. I could just play Angler and Shadow. I think I'm just going to play Angler. No, I'm just going to play a shadow because I want to like 
The problem is he can just block with Azusa, pay for his pact. I think I'm just gonna ten him and play a back, play another Death Shadow, make it so it's lethal through a blocker. But he would have to, and then I'm gonna play Gurmag too. Because in Battle Rage is lethal even if he Engineer Explosives me. Okay. Alright. I don't really sideboard that much against Amulet. Like. It's literally kind of like that. But I am going to sideboard one of these out and bring a Lightning Bolt in. Four Snaps is a little loose against a deck that's as grindy as Amulet. Like, I don't really want to play that kind of game. Oh, no, I didn't sideboard right. I want these in. I want these out. No, Command is not fine. It's too slow. Yeah, Bog's annoying. I'll cut one of these and bring in one of these. Nice. Oh, I'm going to mulligan. This hand's pretty mopey. This hand is mopier, but I'm going to keep. It's just that Gurmag Angler is not going to do anything, and that Shadow is not going to do anything, or that Battle Rage is going to do anything with with only Gurmag Angler. The the, the Shadows doesn't matter by the time K commands online. You'll do this turn. You'll do this turn. Nothing. Nothing for Mr. Rossum. So if I top deck a fatal push, I want to keep my revolt. So I'm not going to fetch. Put on the bottom. Put on top. That's like normally pretty loose sequencing, but if I did spike push, I wanted to use it. Colony Garden, okay. Nothing. Still want that top card. All right, we... We can't prevent ourselves from getting. We can prevent ourselves from getting tightened. We can get ballista, which is going to make me hurl. But I guess we can counter the ballista. I'm just going to get all my colors doubled up so that John can't get rid of them. He can dismember me, but like such is life. Or path, but.
Oh, they are playing path though. We're super dead. All right, take primeval titan. Guess I should have waited a turn. Yeah, I should have waited a turn. That was stupid. Picks up Colony Garden. This is going swimmingly. We can just play, um, play guard and make a plant packed. We transmute for Cavern of Souls, which would, if he ever gets that line, which would beat us pretty single handedly. Don't say such mean things, Rob. I should have just been paint one more turn patient with my Death Shadow, and I would have just been like to the moon. I'm not playing super well tonight. What are we doing? Are we transmuting here? Or is he just picking up to reset his gemstone caverns? Yep, transmutes. If he gets. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We'll scoop to the old cavern souls. That's going to get us. And hopefully we can get a little bit better on the play here. So we'll just submit and we'll go. I'm here for... All right. I would like to play first. Yes. And you got to ship this. It's too reactive. All right, we got a bunch of threats. Dylan conceded to a plant turkey. Yes, sir. Put on top. Fetch it away. Serum visions. Okay, I don't think I want either of these. Let's hope he gives me something to point this dismember at. <coughs> We're all rooting for him. Strength's good. What do you got there, sir? What are you stirring for?
gems down the line. Totsies. Not bad. Because I might actually want to dismember and still keep that stubborn denial. Best thing John can do is play creature out, but he does not. So am I cool just getting destroyed by engineer explosives here? Like just playing two shadows and getting my teeth kicked in. Or is getting whacked by a pass. Am I winning? What if John just passed my Gurmag Angler? I'm going to play two shadows because if he path to exiles one of them, then I can play Gurmag with Stubborn Denial up the turn after and I can still dismember a creature. Well, so much for my graveyard. Well, now I just want to dismember this. So I'd rather make my shadow a 5-5 then have the land. We're in a little bit of trouble to like an Azusa, but Of that. So if I fetch shock to eight, I can play angler as well, which means I'm good through. Yeah, I'm just going to.
Yeah, Legacy was earlier. Oh, we got it. All right, let's open up our pity chest. Talk about our deck. We got an Urza's Mine. What a tilt. I don't even deserve to have that in my collection. I'm going to have to get rid of that thing. So let's go back to this deck here. Um, Again, I like Death Shadow. It's not... Like, I think Death Shadow is a really solid deck in the meta right now, but, like, you're doing yourself a disservice not playing Phoenix or Dredge, in my opinion, if you can pilot them. They can be difficult to pilot. Um, they're, you know, they're a little different, a little hard to handle, but I think I think this is a good list. Um, the format reacting to the Phoenix decks has slowed down. Phoenix has slowed down. It's created Black Green Rock. Um blue white control and like um even the word deck is a good slow deck so i think that i like this build i don't know if it's better than like you know the normal bobble builds that i've been playing but you know this one's more fun to play and unfortunately in my opinion modern is not very fun to play so um but yeah so this is this is what it is. Uh, we're gonna send you guys over to my friend Drake Sasser. Um, I hope you all have a good rest of your night. Please hit the follow button on the way out. Make sure you say hi to Drake Stream and uh, say hi to Drake. Check him out. But besides that, I hope everyone has a good rest of their night, and we will see you all later.